Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial for video editing software guide.com. Alright, you guys know I love comments and I love freaking requests even more. So I got a request from Mr. Science and Math Nerd who asked me, had the nerve to ask me, to create a custom mask for videos. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring it to you, baby, because that's how I do. That's how it gets down. You guys know me. Let's get into it. All right, now this custom mask can be used for any type of video editing application. All right, all you're basically going to do is create it using a photo editor. But I'm going to utilize PowerDirector for this. First thing I want to do is, as you can see, I have a clip down in the timeline. It's a nice little clip of, you know, the earth moving around, little things going on in the hands. Isn't that beautiful? Mother Earth, we love you so. All right, enough of that. So I want to get this, and I want to actually create a snapshot of this. The reason why is because I want to have the perspective of what my video will be when I have my mask over it. I want to know exactly what I will be able to see through the mask. And I want it to be on point. So I'm going to go ahead and click on take a snapshot. And I'm going to name this globe. And please take note of where the file gets saved. All right. On your computer. So I'm going to click on OK. And now you can see it in power director but I need to go to the location of the photo so I'm gonna go to my libraries here let's just go back to the libraries and I'm going to click on documents cyberlink power director 11 and here you see the picture that I made globe so I'm gonna right click on this and I'm going to do open with Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. As I stated, you can use a different photo editor if you want some. Now I have the picture in here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do file, new, blank file. The reason why I'm creating a blank file is because I need the blank file for my mask. You can name it if you want to. I don't give a fat rat, you know what. I'm going to leave it named Untitled 1. But you need to change your width and height to match the project settings of your video. So my video is set to 1920 by 1080. And as far as the background contents, if you have black as your background, then you can just change this to background color. If you don't, you know, change your background before you do it. Or you can just do white and then change your background color later. I'm going to choose background color because I already have mine as black. And now I'm going to select OK. So now you see I have two layers. Or I have the one layer of the background. I'm going to unlock that. And you can name it layer zero. You can name it black background. Do whatever. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to drag my picture from Power Director over that to create an extra layer. So now I have two layers. Now the next thing I need to do is create my custom mask. Now here's a custom mask tool. I'm going to click on it and there's several shapes in here that you could choose from. I'm going to choose recycle two. Now I'm just going to bring my crosshairs over the photo and I'm going to Drag this out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Move tool. And I'm going to move this over the Earth because anything that's white is what is actually going to be, you can see through for the mask. You can go ahead and stretch this out, make it match whatever you're going to be putting it over. I want to be able to see the globe through the white. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to click on this check mark. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and delete 
the layer of the globe because I don't need it anymore. I already know my arrows for my recycle. My mass part is right where I want it to be. So I'm going to right click on the globe and I'm going to go to delete layer. Click yes. Now we just have the black and the mask shape. So now I'm going to hold the control button and I'm going to click on the shape so that they're both highlighted in black. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do merge layers. This turns it into one photo. Now all I got to do is make this white transparent. So I'm going to go to image and magic extractor. Now the default is for the areas that you want to keep. The areas I want to keep are all the black. And then I can click on the background brush tool and select the areas that I want to be transparent, which are all the white parts. I'm going to click on preview so I can get a look at it. And all these checkerboards mean that these will be see-through now. So I like that. I'm going to click OK. Now I need to save the picture to a location where I can bring it into PowerDirector or whatever photo or I'm sorry, whatever video editor you're going to be using. So I go to File, Save As. And I'm going to, first of all, go to the format and I'm going to choose PNG. And I know that that's going to make all of the parts that I selected to be transparent become transparent. I'm going to name this Recycle Mask and choose the location I want it. My pictures is good. I'll click on Save and we're going to leave it not interlaced. Click OK. And I'm going to jump back into PowerDirector. I'm going to Import Media, Import Media Files. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the pictures. I'm going to find the recycle mask. I'm going to click on that. Click open. And now you see it just looks black with a little bit of white right there. But all it looks is black because guess what? It's see-through, buddy. The freaking recycle piece is see-through now. I want to bring this down into the timeline where I want. Stretch it out as far as I like. Now, if I go to movie and I play this, you'll see all of a sudden, bam, we got our mask and we got a little earth spinning. Recycle for Mother Earth, I tell ya. Recycle for Mother Earth. All right, people, that's it. You know the routine. The thumb. The one that's at the bottom of this video that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug the heck out of it. Hug it till it pops, baby. Hug it till it freaking pops. Comments. You know I got to have them. Give me those comments. If you need help with something, I'll try to help you out. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the help you need. If you got a request, send it in. I might do it. I might not. You know, it depends on how I feel and what you're asking me to freaking do. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.